Hey guys, we are back to vlogging. I'm so happy about it. Today I want to tell you about uh, experience when I went to university for the very first time. It was also first term, first year, so that was some crazy shit. But you need a backstory. Basically, the new university I went to was a private university because I did not get in the public one. And the way it works in Poland is that you have public universities where if you have high enough grade you can get there, you don't need to pay for anything really. You can just go, uh, there is no pay for getting to the uni, the only thing you might need to pay for are the books, but it's really, it's optional. Uh, and you are supposed to pass. Because if you don't pass, then you may have to pay something, kind of because the university invested money in you, so you need to pay it back uh, if you fail at just learning kind of thing. Or you can go to a private university when you give them a lot of money and they don't really care about anything. And because I did not get to a public university, I went to a private one. And I actually... I went to a cheaper one and let me tell you like cheaper ones are really lame universities like from what I learned from other people from things I've seen and from my experiences the really good universities are the really freaking expensive ones which I couldn't afford at the time and my university was really shit but the important bit is that with that kind of university everyone can learn. like they don't look at your grades i know that in some countries they look at your grades and want you to pay but you know all you need is to do is pay as long as you finished high, high school even like for freaking this if you passed even on the you know lowest grade you're good if you have money you don't even care about your grades they only care about your money really uh, so basically every asshole can be there and um, I went for the wee weekend kind of thing because it was cheaper um, and because I was hoping to work during the week which most of people do that because then they can earn for the university it's not cheap it you have to pay monthly it, it's not cheap at all <coughs> and you just if you don't pay you're not capable of going there anymore basically if you if you are late on paying your tuition they just won't let you in class <laughs> pretty much uh, so there is that and my point is that with if you only need to pay to get there every asshole can get there you don't need the grades you don't need passion you don't need anything you just need money when I say passion, I mean that if you have good grades, really good grades, because you want to get into the university, you usually like to think uh, that you are uh, going for, I, I am at those words, but the subjects that you need to have in the highest grade, you usually like them. Maybe it's not always passion, but you like them. You have some kind of connection with this. You know literally we had people who were really angry that they have to learn math and i was a finances major how dumb you need to be to not realize that with finances you will need math in your life i especially went for this major because i like math and she, they were like just i sat there i was like <clears throat> but yes, um, that happened and with my major, which is finances, it gave a lot of good job opportunities, so everyone was there just for the paper. And now we can get to a proper story time. We had math class. It wasn't the math class that you remember from high school, where you just go make uh exercises there's no we did exercises on the exercises but there was a lecture 
like Drew was <sighs> painful and I feel mostly because this is the really wrong mean to learn math the way I like to learn man math usually I don't look into theory I look if I don't remember the, or, or don't know equations sometimes I've learned math I learned by myself by doing exercises I think this is the best way to learn math and this is more effective way to actually do something because theory is theory theory is math is very uh, it's it's very complicated to say the thing is nice it's much easier to execute these things in the exercise and what the lecture was was three hours of the guy just talking just telling us the theory and making notes it was boring because I was like this is so cool I want to write an exercise from this I don't want to write the theory and you know the worst part was that this was like 90 year old guy he he was past his you know best days and the best thing is that because the uni was showing that it was so modern so for young so great he kind of wanted to go with the flow so he had like a projector like he put his notes also handwritten notes for every freaking lecture like man that's some dedication he put them on projector so that we could see and we could just write down those notes the problem was he did not know how to operate the projector the notes often were the wrong on uh, the wrong side often they were huge it, it was just impossible to write notes sometimes and nobody liked him because he was grumpy so the story I want to talk about guys if that happened I really I still don't know how this happened who did that but basically on our lectures we have uh, 10 minutes breaks uh, every 45 minutes and on such a break uh, of course everyone usually goes out and uh, sometimes people just don't come back it's it's really nicer than just going off in the middle of lecture so you know it's okay and everyone comes in uh, the teacher comes in, he wants to start the lecture, but the door open and in the door there are three figures well, they had black clothes, I remember that and they had alien masks, they literally had an alien mask they were slowly going down the stairs, everyone was like, what the fuck they went down the, the stairs and I think the teacher was really freaked out <clears throat> but I think he thought that it was like a school thing over there because he's like with what you come to us or you know he tried to play along and literally what they did it that they um, threw like I believe they grabbed chalk and they mashed it so it was like a chalk dust and then they threw it all over the place i remember i had the whole desk in this like a whole notebook and everything and then they just went away i think some got on onto the professor too which is not cool and and they just were gone we had to stop lectures so that a lady could with vacuum could like clean up at least a little and when he was going for a vacuum lady one girl stopped him and he was like professor were you part of this? Did you, did you find him? Because he spoke like this. And he went madness on that girl. He went completely mad because he didn't. He just tried to play along. And this was just some prank. Basically, Ali Alice came to my school. <laughs> and he was like, what are you saying, lady? Do you hear yourself? Are you saying? Like, he went completely raised at her. Um, but basically people hated him so I guess that was the prank, a really mean prank, a really not a, f not a cool thing 
but that happened in my university days. So I just wanted to share this story with you. I hope you get a little giggle. I know afterwards I get a giggle thinking that you know the guys did that. It's not nice that they threw it on him, but uh, you know they break the letter. So I guess the point the point was made. Thank you so much for watching this vlog, and I'll see you in the next one.